na Gentral din in my Bisayang Texas YouTube channel. So, after I submit my application in OAS, I wanna share what happened for my documents. Okay? It's, it's too late, but I wanna share. So, you can have any you can have idea for the for those who are filing in the near future for the OES so I was filing last August 2020 and I received ticks from the USAIS last September 27 I get received only two message from the USAIS I get two to receipt number so I was wondering why it was only two message it was only two receipt number so I just need to wait for the letter and then on October 6 I received the two letter so I received this two letter this is the no one for my adjustment of status and this is the no one for i-131 application so at that time i was breaking out three applications so i need to know what happened for my i-765 so at that time it's it was saturday i need to wait for Monday so I was trying to call USIS office but they don't answer my calls and then another day I try again maybe I'm lucky for that day but still not didn't answer it's and then I try again it's direct to the operator they receive my calls so so I don't have any idea what the rejection for my oh, uh, for my 765 so I'm just wait so I received the rejection of 765 last October 28 so I want to share about what happened for my 765 application so ito nga yung ano ito nga yung rejection ng ano ko ng 765 na application that i sent already last August. anyway this application has already paid i paid already with this application and then my problem i know the problem is I sent this one and the paper and the form was already expired because they have another form updated so I need to submit the new form supposed to be the new form but I already gathered I already prepared for this form and ready to send it for August 25 so the reason why why this one is rejected is the form is already expired and this the reason here the reason here that they told me is this this is the reference of i for uh, i-765 application authorization so you submit your fees and any supporting documents return for the reason Payments amount incorrect supposed to be this what did this filed already August 25 they get received 26 so it's not affected to the fees increase last October October 2 so, and then They told me, please complete the application fully. Submit the appropriate fees and include the supporting document. So now, I don't pay 
for the new fees that I need to pay for this application because I already paid off. I have a case, pending case in the USIS for my adjustment of status and my travel document. The travel document was already approved. The paycheck was already paid off. So I returned with this one here. I return with this one here. This is my cover letter. Okay, I can read this one here, okay? I am currently in the U U United States of America valid K-1 visa. And I have a pending case status in the USA is with my adjustment uh, application of re registered permanent resident with my travel documents and together with 765 that was filled last august i understand it was my mistake that the form i submit on 765 last august was already expired and paid all my application last august i call several times in the USIS to inform about my application because I don't receive any receipt number they tell me that I need to wait the mails that they send back to me and I just wait two and one week two months and one week I received my rejected letter because of the payment supposed to be the form you is an increase last october so i i i i have only tell the u.s officer that i'm not affected for the chris the face increase last october two because i already filed this one in august 25 so i have to clarify them that i already paid with these documents so, so i gathered the documents i gathered the documents that i need to submit with this application a proof this is my cover letter i proof I have a proof of my uh, payments of the USIS, pending case status form that I received, 2 by 2 picture, G1145, complete 76 form, as uh, 65 form, marriage license, copy I94, copy of bio page, copy of i797 which is this one is from the k1 and the invasive letter and the vaccination this this all the documents that i gathered i need to prove that i already paid you this this uh, application i don't need to pay again i just try to to uh, tell them that i already paid so this is the check the cashier's check that i sent before that i already save so uh, i proved for that i paid already so this is my painting case here this is the i7 i797 for my two application this one here so i get i did the they notice that i have already so this is my picture my form my marriage, my birth certificate, our marriage license, my I-94, and then bio page, K-1 visa, and the entry stamp, I-97, I-797, uh, that is NOAA 1 and NOAA 2. This is the NOAA 2 and the vaccination. 
So that's all the documents that I gathered. I sent it back today because I need to I need to know the result for my adjustment of status. So I use only this one here. I need to use this one here. I don't look, I don't need anything which is already paid for this one, which is already paid. So hope they can accept my application. They can accept my application at this time because I don't want to pay again. It's a lot of money. So, and then and I also sent with my with my a report of marriage in the consulate. So let us see I need to know my papers that I sent. And I and I need to uh, tell you what happened. If they can send it back away, so I need to pay. No matter what I need to pay. It's already increased, so I need to pay. If they can send it, but I'm hopeful I'm hoping that they don't send it back again because I already paid, but I don't want to pay because I already paid for this one here. Thank you.